Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Profile Tree Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial videos. For today's episode, I'm simply going to talk about how to get rid of the following error message, which you may be displayed with if you happen to use the warp stabilizer effect. Now, why would you use the warp stabilizer effect? Um, it is mainly used if you've gone out filming, you've brought your footage back into post-production and you realize it's not as still as you'd want it to be. It's a bit shaky. Um, this is when you would go onto your effects Type in warp stabilizer, drag this onto your nested sequence. To nest the sequence, you simply right click on any clip and click nest, and it will do it for you. And then you drag the warp stabilizer effect onto your nested sequence, and you will see what will take place on the screen. It will analyze the background and basically make the footage still. Um, sometimes, however, this little error message is left behind. In order to get rid of that, simply click on the nested sequence of your choice, go up to effect controls, scroll all the way down to warp stabilizer, and click reset effect. Once you click that, you will see this percentage will start to take place, and frame by frame, it will analyze the background. Eventually, it will stabilize, and the error message will disappear and you'll be left with your nice smooth footage. So that's it for today's tutorial, quite a short one. We will be back again soon for episode number two. Thanks for joining us and take care, goodbye.